What's going on coin telegraphers? It's Rodic Mick here with today's Crypto 101. If I will ask you when cryptocurrency appeared, you will answer that it happened around the beginning of 2010. But what if I will tell you that all the history of money was a long way to Bitcoins? At the very beginning, people were swapping. But what if things had not the same value? Could you swap a tiger for a stone? It doesn't make sense. So people decided that we needed a universal tool for payments. This value appeared. It was precious metals. We went from bartering to gold, silver, bronze, then state coins and later to paper money, backed by gold and now they're backed by nothing really. And all the time, the chiefs of all the societies tried to control and distribute the wealth First it was dukes of tribes, then kings men, and then essentially governments. Finally banks uh, who now regulate all aspects of money, they, from printing to distributing. In the 20th century the world has, has changed, it's, it's not been easy for governments to control money. Cash money is now used in under 10% of all transactions worldwide. Credit and debit cards replace paper money and coins. Now we see cryptocurrency as a result of these changes. It looks like we are coming back to the stone ages. We're sending you back to the future! To uncontrolled swaps. But maybe that is the currency that mankind was always searching for. A universal and decentralized money. To keep learning more about the industry, make sure that you subscribe to the channel down below. And to the person who posts the best comments, we will give you a, a small price. So post your comments.